your place on fire Let's get higher Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to be updated as of March 1st, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 87,137 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally, with 2,977 deaths. There are now 7,169 confirmed cases in 58 countries outside of China, with 104 deaths. The Department of Health and Wellness, we await confirmation by the World Health Organization on the cases in French St. Martin and the Dominican Republic. The global increase in cases and the sustained community transmission reported in countries with direct flights to our member states has resulted in the risk of disease transmission to the Caribbean region being upgraded by the Caribbean Public Health Agency from low to moderate to high. This requires a shift in planning from preparedness to rapid response. The Department of Health and Wellness has noted this update and continues to work towards preparation in country for management of cases. On Friday, February 28, 2020, the Honorable Prime Minister Alan Shastny chaired an emergency meeting with the National Emergency Management Advisory Committee to brief stakeholders on the disaster management plans in response to the global threat of COVID-19. The Chief Medical Officer presented on the Situation Report globally, the Regional Coordinating Mechanism and the National Response to Date. The wide range of stakeholders were given the opportunity to voice concerns and to make recommendations. The recommendations were noted for discussion at the National COVID Coordination, Coordination Meeting scheduled for March 2nd, 2020. On Sunday, March 1st, 2020, the Honorable Prime Minister Alan Shastny and the Chief Medical Officer attended the special meeting of CARICOM in Barbados. This meeting was convened to discuss the global threat of COVID-19 to the region and facilitate regional coordination for the management of COVID-19. The crews and airline executives were also engaged in this discussion. The meeting was chaired by Prime Minister Honorable Mia Motley and was attended by the Pan American Health Organization, the Caribbean Public Health Agency, the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, SEDEMA, CARICOM, IMPACTS, and the executives of the various cruise lines were also in attendance. As we note that the level of the threat has now for the region been increased from low to moderate to high, we continue to inform the public to practice the standard recommendations to prevent the spread of respiratory infection. These include regular hand washing with soap and water or the use of hand sanitizer when soap and water is not available to cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues when coughing or sneezing. Avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness, such as coughing and sneezing, and also to seek medical attention and to share your travel history with your healthcare provider. The Department of Health and Wellness, we will continue strengthening our plans in an effort to detect in an early manner if we were to get a case and to also be able to manage in country. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to be updated.